Hello YouTube, this is Apple Tech, and in this video I will be just doing a rundown of the iOS 5 Wide Door RC release. Many of you guys have been asking on what's new on this Wide Door, um, what new iOS 5 features, and everything like that. So I'll just be covering the new things um, like in my other ones, but in this one I'm just going to be more in depth and I'm just going to explain the Wide Door firmware for you. So just to let you guys know, this is not the final release. Wide Door has planned on releasing a final one. They haven't yet set a date, but just to let you guys know, this is like for developer and beta testers and anything like that. Um, so the new one, they say in the keynote that um, Soap Milk has presented on the White Door channel. If you guys want to check that one out, it will probably be an annotation somewhere up there or a link in the description. You guys can check that out and it will show you the new things that are coming to iOS 5. So that is a very good video. Just make sure to check that out. Um, so in this one, I will just be showing you if you guys are interested in getting iOS 5 RC release. Um, now, some iOS little features that it has is that it does have newsstand. That is an iOS 5 only um, application. It does have reminders as well. I covered those two. So if you guys want to um, check out that in my RC release, I'll probably have an annotation. But those two do come with the RC release iOS 5 Wide Door firmware. Now, those are mostly the two applications that Wide Door um, has incorporated. Now if we go to my um, other folder right here, as you guys can see, you have Side Recorder. Most of you guys know what Side Recorder is. Um, that one was mostly released for iOS 4. Um, if I go into this folder, you guys can see that I have iCloud, which is the Dropbox account. Many have been asking, um, does this have the iCloud? This does not really have the real iCloud. It's like a modded data Dropbox. Now what Dropbox is, it just allows you when you play a game, say if I would play um, this game right here and somehow I want to restore or if I just delete the app, it will save it in my Dropbox account. So when you go into this one, as you guys can see, it will say Dropbox up here and it will have a backup my saves. You will have to have a Dropbox just in the first place. So say when I go into that. As you can see, it asked me for my Dropbox account. So you would just simply enter your Dropbox and then back up any application. It only works for, um, I believe, applications, nothing else. So the overall thing on the new RC release is mostly a minor upgrades. There aren't a lot of upgrades, as I said, only two applications, iCloud. But overall, this firmware is mostly for developer purposes or just if you want to experience a little bit of iOS 5, but not the whole thing. As I said, Wide Door will be releasing their firmware anytime soon. One more thing is that someone asked me on how to enable um, things in the background. As you guys can see, I got my multitasking right there. And say if I wanted to enable my notes, I just simply hold the home button. And as you guys can see, it will say, background enabled now I will have it natively in my background as you guys can see right there um, and if you guys want to disable it you just simply hold the home button and as you guys can see it's disabled so that is just a quick tweak if you guys are new at white door or anything like that um, so mostly everything is the same that's much it for this video I will be having more updates on white door so stay tuned stay subscribed and stay awesome folks and also folks leave any of your comments questions below tell me what you guys think this is apple tech thanks for watching